ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Brandon Carter. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLM. In this Snackbite video, we're going to take a look at NX surface flattening capabilities. For this particular example, we're going to focus on the flattening and forming command. If you notice the geometry I have on the screen, that is geometry from a car fender. It's just extracted surfaces, and the result here is a sheet body. To flatten this, we're just going to go up and run flattening and forming. The first step of this demonstration is to flatten this, get this in a flattened state, a flat pattern if you will. Then we'll talk about what we can do with forming later. I'm just going to grab all the surfaces from these, this extracted geometry, tell the system where I want to hold the geometry, and what vector I want to flatten against. With just a couple clicks, we have that geometry in a flattened state. To some customers, this is important to get that blank definition and what size it would, it would take to make this particular part. To take that a step further, we're going to go ahead and create some construction geometry, basically some CAD features here in the flattened state. A lot of times it's much easier to lay something out in the flattened state than it is to try to make it in the form state, you know, in, in the, in the 3D, 3D view, so to speak. So here I just created some construction circles. Now if we run the flattening and forming command again, I'm going to use the forming and reuse option this time. I'm going to select my flat pattern for what I want to form and notice this option to reverse the transfer transformation. What this is going to allow us to do is grab that construction geometry that was created in the flattened state and form it back over to the original surface, the original extracted geometry. If I hide my flattening and forming feature as well as the construction geometry, notice that those shapes have been formed back against the original input surface. Finally, to create those voids, we can just do a, a trim sheet. We can use the wrapped construction geometry for our trim boundaries and remove that. So in this case, we use flatten and forming first to flatten the complex geometry. Then we took it a step further to add features in the flattened state, and then we're able to form those back using the flatten and forming tool. Prolin PLM.